Hello and uh, welcome back to Super Mario Maker. And uh, we are getting into another segment of the game um, where, yes, I will be playing notificated, no, notificated, notified, new levels that pop up in the little event courses section. Like this Mercedes-Benz Jump and Drive, which I'm sure is a reference to Mario Kart. But um, I'm also going to be searching out uh, for some great levels. I'm going to be trying them beforehand, before getting on stream. And uh, basically that ensures that, you know, I'm finding some cool levels. And if you find any cool levels, you can totally recommend them to me and I'll try and play them maybe not be as successful. So we're going to start with this, uh, whoops, I pressed the wrong, wrong button. We're going to start with the Mercedes-Benz Jump Drive. This course was created by a team of Mario fans at Mercedes-Benz. They were inspired by the GLA's appearance in Mario Kart and wanted to build a level in which Mario takes the GLA on a road trip. Cool. And I assume that gets us a new character skin thing. Yeah, we're going to be trying some... Oh boy. Oh boy. What? Wait. I, I was trying to like absorb everything that was going on. Okay, we're moving. There's these moving blocks. There's these plants. Alright. So far I don't know how this is taking the car anyway. Nice little music. Uh, <laughs> yay! Um, <laughs> that is perfect. They literally made a tiny little pixel car. See, this is what the little little additions like this. It remind me of um, a game that I'll definitely try out again on stream, but. Somebody made like a, a portal Mario where they combined the classic Mario aesthetic and pretty much the game with uh, this kind of great. Um... Oh boy. Oh. oh, I could have kept going, I guess. But um, they combined it with a portal gun. You could like shoot a portal and have a Goomba just immediately fall into a pit. Checkpoint, how long is this level? Ooh, wait, 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 wait. What is up here? Oh, it's just, wait. More coins! That's another great thing they put in this game, checkpoints. I feel like more levels would be attempted if there, if there were more checkpoints in... in different games. Ooh. I right, got a lot going on here. Let's, uh, try and get out of here. Uh, this is... Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Uh, eh. I want to get up there, but I guess I can't now. It's nice to play some of these levels, because I was trying out uh, some some pretty tricky levels. Gerard the Completionist has a uh, a bunch of them, and those are gonna make they're they're gonna make an appearance because they're they're pretty cool, but they're also stupid hard in in some respects. All right, so let's do one thing I wanted to try out was the hundred Mario challenge. Um, so let's see what this is all about. Get 100 lives to clear 8 courses. Take on different courses every time you play. Alright. 100 lives sounds like a lot. So hopefully it's as easy as I, 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 I 
I I don't want to. I don't. I, I don't want to be spending all my years playing this. <laughs> oh, it's a hundred lives, and it's just random courses. So this could be really hard. Mario. This is like the like the Mario Two aesthetic Mario. Why would they even let me go up here? Spooky. Saw blades. Chain champs. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hello, Goombas. Death of the store. Oh. Um. Let's go here. What? That was it? <laughs> That's funny. Yay! And I got a life I didn't need. That's funny. You can save and quit. That's also funny. Well. That's, fu that's funny. I can't really knock anybody who's tr making levels because I haven't made any myself. Ooh. Yay! Oh my goodness. Give me the propeller hat. Yeah! Yeah! Look at that. I got three lives out of that. That's crazy though, because you could have like... You could have uh like eight of Ross's levels or something. Ross from, from Game Grumps. Oh. This reminds me of like an actual like Mario stage. Oh. I don't like these springs. Let's just let's just do this. Oh no. What sucks is that I can't really jump. Maybe if I do the, the jump thing. No, oh, no. I'm too big to fit through that tiny little... Tiny little thing. Oh well. We had to lose one life at some point, right? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna be big, because I'll figure it out. Jump. Oh, 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 jump. No. Jump. 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 How? What? <laughs> I'm pressing the thing. Why didn't it do it like last time? Okay, I'm just not going to get the mushroom. I'll wait. Mm. Right, now I'm tiny. Oh, why did I jump up there? <laughs> Alright, I'm losing more lives than I should be on this thing. So embarrassed. <laughs> if a course is too difficult, you could just pass it. Oh, Nintendo. Why don't you say that for, like, Ross's levels? Okay, so that's what I need to do. spring just in case. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh no. I missed the light. Oh, I just need to go through here. I don't know what the top pipe was, but we don't worry about we don't worry about what could have been. Oops. Isn't that always a hard thing to do? Especially when like you wanted something to turn out a certain way. Like when when something turns out differently and you're like, oh it could have been even better or I wish it hadn't Oh, are you kidding me? That pipe's literally just there to kill you. Like that. I wish I hadn't gone in that pipe. <laughs> then I would have survived. Should've jump. Nope. I wish I hadn't gotten the mushroom again. Jump. Jump. Oh, I didn't do that right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, let's spawn this turtle. No. Need you to respawn. Come on. Do it. Okay. Now he's back. Now he's back. Jump. Oh, what? He just turns into me. I think I have 95 lives to apparently beat this impossible course. Apparently, it's impossible. Let's get out of here. Jump. Jump. Got it. go through that whole pipe. Another propeller hat. Alright. So don't go in there. Oop. Let's just run. Jump. Oh! There's the flat. Here, I just want to be the level. Okay, cool. Got a life. Party time. It's also interesting playing all these levels. You see the different like game mechanics that come with each iteration of Mario. Like, oh, this is like the jumping mechanic. This is how it feels different. This is, you know, introducing wall jumping in the newer iterations. Oh, uh, um. I think this is an automatic level, so it's not going to do anything. Whee! I always love these, because it's like, how did you... Dang it! Okay, so I guess I needed to jump at some point. It's in Japanese, or, or... Is that Chinese? Looks like Chinese. I only took three years of high school Chinese, so... But, um, and the flag said China, I think. No, that probably was a Japanese flag. Jump. Nope. Ah, oh, I didn't time it right. Alright. So. Yeah, it's a Japan flag. What am I. What am I saying? Okay. So. See, look, it didn't let me. I'm the only person who's died all three times there. Alright. Automated levels are so crazy. Being able to just, like, 
have like understand how high or far Mario will be pushed if a certain thing is done a certain way. Oof, I need a stack. Oh, why did he run? Is it because I got the star? I wasn't moving him. Alright, so at least we know we could just we could get through that just by doing a simple spin jump. Go my uh... Boom. Springs. Spring. Oh. 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 Jump. Jump. Nope. Oh, so I do need the star to get through the block of the the tower of uh, Goomba, the Goomba Koopa Tower. All right, so oh no, <laughs> that's why you want to get on the get on the train, I guess. I was like, I wonder what happens if I don't do the automated stuff. Okay, so... Just push me. Do it. Push. Or just do this. Jump. Get pushed over. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. Ah. I might just lose all my lives on this level. It's like part. I hate that it's partially automated. I wish it were just a fun ra ride to a Mario Maker theme park. Remember how I was talking about how things could have been? This could have been even better, but no. Okay, see, now that time I jumped high enough where I didn't need the spin jump. Alright, I'll just, you know. I'll figure it out. This, this level can't be that long. None of the levels have been really long. Okay, so if I do nothing... Absolutely nothing. I need absolutely nothing. Oh. Doing absolutely nothing. Still doing nothing. Haha! <laughs> so it wasn't all really right, I was just doing stupid. Good job. Um, person whose name I can't pronounce. Level five, which will be started in the next episode. Yeah, get started big. That's pretty good. All right, so we will see you in the next episode of Mario Maker. We'll finish up this hundred Mario challenge and just see, you know, what the last four levels are. I figured this is a good thing to try out, just to you know try different levels, get different strategies, get better at using the different game mechanics from each Mario iteration and finding certain trends and patterns that will allow us to kind of learn how to play different created levels even if there's you know new challenges different different approaches to the same concept that kind of thing so we're diving into this world of mario goodness um thanks so much for watching and feel free to check out stuff that i posted below in the description it's links to stuff i do with music and other video game related things um and for today Go find...
Let's see. Since we're on a Japan level, go find something. Go find your favorite thing from Japan and post it in the comments. Anything. It could be the city of Tokyo. It could be a certain technological innovation. It could be a person you've met from Japan or a person you've heard of or a uh, favorite anime. That kind of thing. Um, and, you know, recommend some stuff to me to check out. I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that either. I'm always looking to learn about new things. So we will see you next time on another episode of Mario Maker.